Uh, just two questions, one on the expansion draft and one on the coming draft. But when you got Jared McCann at such a reasonable price, were you at all tempted to change your thinking and go 7-3 run rather than 8-1? Uh, we thought about it, Kevin, uh, but the, the, and I think that's that's one way I, I would understand why why you would look at it. But the other part of it was it would it wouldn't just be by going seven three and one uh, because the cost was what it was. Would that be smart? It was also if we went seven three and one, who were we going to be losing, and then what would the cost be to replace that person at their current cap hit? And obviously that that would give us increased exposure on defense, and we knew what the market was shaping up to be um, in terms of free agents and I think that manifested itself a little bit last night uh, and then we also knew what um, kind of the, the available players were and who we thought they were and so I can understand why someone would look at it that way and, and say we should have uh, kept Jared or, or, or others but our view of it having uh, more complete information and, and analyzing it a little bit differently was there was certainly there was that option but there was also going to be the cost and whether we could replace the player who we lost at that cap hit in the marketplace or in trade and then it just didn't add up for us in a, in a net positive way uh, so we just elected to keep the strategy as is but we did look at it and investigate it for uh, countless days prior to the trade and then in the, in the subsequent days uh, hours after just wondering if you could expand on prioritizing protecting justin hall and expansion over maybe you know protecting a couple more forwards sure um you know i the way we looked at it, Jonas, was, you know, what do we have in Justin and, and, and what do we have him uh, for in the future? So he signed for two more years. Um, you know, he's taken the last two seasons of the major steps. I understand he's, you know, he's 29 years old, but uh, extremely well conditioned, low mileage uh, overall on him. Uh, I thought, you know, the, the, he and Muzzin together as, as a tandem and as a pair, uh, especially the first three quarters of the season, you know, they played against the other team's best players in, a, in, you know, in our division. Those weren't a lot of easy nights. You know, speaking specifically, you know, we go to Edmonton, Vancouver. You know, obviously we saw what Montreal did after they defeated us. Um, you know, Calgary. Every team in our division, Winnipeg, with their top line, had very challenging players to to defend against and. Um, Jake and Justin took that role on and, and performed very well in it. At the end of the season, uh, in the playoffs, you know, I, I think maybe you could say they uh, you know, it would have you know, maybe the, the effects of all of that over the course of the season and travel and just the way the season was impact them. I'm not sure, but our focus was on we know what we know what he's capable of. We know um, who he is as a person. We have a strong belief in him. He signed for two more years. If he's gone from our team, either in expansion or trade, can we replace what he brings at the cap hit? And we went through it um, dozens of different ways and looked at every iteration, knowing what the marketplace was saying about him, knowing what Seattle was likely to do, and then looking at the alternatives. Um, you know, you could say, well, do we, have, we do have guys internally, but then you're back to the whole thing that we've chased for years, which is sacrificing your defense depth. Um, and then trying to supplement it by signing someone that's inferior to him at probably around the same cap hit. And so uh, that was a decision that, that we, we made. We just did not think that he was replaceable, and we have a lot of belief that he's going to have a great summer, set himself up to perform at his best for 82 games up through the playoffs. And, uh, and knowing Justin Hall, uh, I would bet that uh, that he does it over the course of the next two seasons. And, uh you know, two years from now, we'll look back and, and I'm on the record as my belief in him. And um, I know uh, I know he'll play very well for us.